Okay, so video on search in binary tree. What you should be able to implement after this is a binary search using the algorithm that I'm going through in here on a binary tree. So if we're looking at, remember how a binary search works, basically if I'm looking for Phelong, so Phelong is my key, I'm gonna compare it to the key at the root node to begin with, okay? Now, if uh, F is smaller than M, so I'm gonna follow the left pointer to the Dalsim, D is sm a large, smaller than F, so my criteria is larger, so I'm gonna go right. Once again, my criteria is larger than E, so I'm gonna go right until I, and I've now found a match, so I'm gonna stop, okay? So um, remember, each time I'm doing that, I'm discarding like potentially half of the, the data that's available. So I'm using that divide and conquer technique to make my search more efficient, all right? The pattern that we're looking at here is we're comparing the criteria with the root node. If it's lower, we're following the left pointer. Otherwise, we follow the right pointer. We compare the node that we're at. If it's not a match, then we repeat from two. And we repeat and repeat and repeat until we either get to a root node, uh, sorry, a leaf node, where there are no more pointers to follow, or we find a match, okay? So the conditions that we're thinking about over here is first of all, is the node null? If it is, then it's not found, because that means that the previous node that we were looking at was a leaf node. If the node data matches the criteria, i.e. the keys match, the, the key at the node and the key that we were searching for match, then we found what we're looking for. If the criteria is smaller than the key at that node, then we need to follow the left pointer. If the criteria is larger than that uh, node, then we're gonna go right. Okay, and those are the four kind of conditions that we need to, to think about um, when we're trying to do this binary search. So basically, a recursive algorithm for this is going to look something like this. I have my search method. I need to pass it uh, the current node that I'm looking at, and I need to pass it the criteria that I'm searching for. Now, if my current node is null, then basically I've hit the end of my uh, my tree. There, the, you know, I've just fallen off the bottom high, uh, level of the hierarchy. Um, because the previous node was a leaf node and therefore that data that I'm looking for doesn't exist in my tree. If the current node matches the, um, the data that I'm looking for, the criteria, then obviously I've found what I'm looking for and I can uh, print out the other associated data stored at that node. Now, uh, oh, going backwards, right. Well, if my criteria is smaller than the key at the node that I'm looking at, then basically I wanna do another recursive call to the left pointer, okay? Uh, again, passing the criteria. And if uh, the criteria is larger than the current node, this is my last possible case, I've just got an else, I'm gonna have my recursive call to go right, okay? Um, now, obviously it's possible to write uh, an iterative, uh, sorry, a recursive algorithm using iteration, but I'm gonna leave that to you to do and then you bring it into class and you show me um, just to test your program and knowledge right there, okay? So you should be able to implement a binary search now uh, on a binary tree using the algorithm that I've given you.